look at the writing two-step equations maze. You can do it digitally or on paper by printing it out. Carl has $30 to spend at the arcade. He spent $12 on food, and each game cost $1.75. Write any inequality, find the most number of games Carl can play. So remember that green sheet that we had that we put in our journal? It was this one. This will help you decide what kind of inequality it is. So let's look and see. He has $30 to spend. Can he spend more than $30? No. Um, so it has to be less than or equal to $30. He spent $12 on food. So $12 plus um, the $1.75 per game. $1.75 per game is less than or equal to $30. So if we look at our choices, we have one, two, three choices here. Can he spend all $30? Yes. Yeah. So it has to be the or equal to. So less than or equal to. So shade this. So it goes down to this one. This will be our first problem. So we are going to have to work this problem out. So turn it over on the back. Put number one, or you can write it in your journal. Either way is fine. Um, you just have to make sure that you send me a picture of it. So it was 12 plus 175x plus center or equal to 30. So we need to solve this. So we need to get rid of the 12, so minus 12. 1.75x is less than or equal to 30 minus 12 is 18. So then we divide by 175. So 18 divided by 1.75. 10.29. Oh, what would we round this to? Well, can you have, these are talking about games, right? Number of games. So we would just have it as 10. So he can play 10 games, nine games, eight games, seven games, six games. And he has enough money for that. So over here, but x is less than or equal to 10. So on the top, I put the equation. On the bottom, I put how it was solved out. Okay, so now the next problem is this one. So make sure you pay attention to the keywords that let you know if it's inequality, what kind of inequality it is. Mia spent $30 on supplies to make 55 cookies for a bake sale. Write an inequality to find the price Mia should charge for the cookies. If she needs a profit of more than 90. So if it's going to be more than 90, what inequality do I use? Okay, so greater than 90. So we need to look and see, here are two choices. They both have greater than 90. What they have different is the plus 30 or minus 30. So let's look and see, Mia spent $30 on supplies, make 55 cookies. So X is the cookie, so 55 X. Are we going to add the supplies for how much she makes or subtract the supplies? Okay, so it'll be 55 X. Minus 30. So that is, has to be going this way. I'm going to color it like that so I can still see the equation. Okay, 
right, then this would be problem two. So go ahead and label it problem two. We're going to turn it over and work it out. So 55x is 55 cook times x. x is the number, I mean the charge for the cookies. So number two, 55x minus 30 is more than 90. Okay, so we need to solve it out. How do we solve this out? Plus 30. So 55x greater than 120. Divide by 55. 120 divided by 55 is... I'm not 2.183. Or 2.18. But this is talking about how much you should charge. Oh, so $2.83. $2.18, that's exactly right. So you have to refer back to the problem to decide how you want to round it. Since this was dealing with how much per cookie, $2.18 per cookie. So the price needs to be $2.18 or more. I mean, more than $2.18, there we go. All right, we're going to write it here, x greater than 218. Oh, that's hard to see. I need to fix that real quick. There we go. A little better. All right, so your assignment is to finish this. I'm gonna let you work with a partner if you would like, um, as long as you don't get too loud. Um, so let me know if you'll have any questions.